Today I'm going to share with you my story of many years ago um, while I was still trying to get into medicine. So, Bates University have this great program called the Graduate Entry into the Medical Program whereby you don't have to enter medicine at first year but you can enter at third year level. But now, the problem with this program is that before you can be admitted into it, you have to write an additional test called the Fed's Additional Placement Test, the WEPT test. So, I was invited to write this test, but now here's the problem. When I was invited to write this test, I was busy. I was in busy doing my final year of BSc, so that was that situation. And now, I didn't get my invitation to come write because you have to be invited to write that test. So my invitation only came two weeks before I vote. So that was that situation now. I go on their website and try to see what do I need to, how do I need to prepare, what do I need to get, and I'm like, they prescribe this huge textbook, and I go fetch it in the library, and I try to get what is it that they want me to study from it. I'm like, they want me to study the entire book, and I'm like, I've got two weeks here. <gasps> so you know what I did? I went on YouTube, googled all the anatomy videos that I could get, all the physiology test uh, notes that I could get. I tried to win the molecular medicine because I was like, you know what? I've been doing molecular biology for so long. That section, I can answer it. But now, the problem is, within that two weeks that I had to prepare, I also had to write some of the tests for my BSc degree because I'm third year, I have to pass. And uh, best believe, I wasn't going to neglect my third year for the test because now, what would have happened if I had failed the year, but now, passed the test that would have been a very very waste of a pass and we don't waste pass right so yeah so that was that situation so now um two days before the web test i have to write a test in bsc i write oncology it was tough i had to write about mutations there was p53 genes that was it was a lot so i wrote that test and then on wednesday before the thursday of the test I get into a bus and I'm like we are going to Jobek to go right so I did that I get to Jobek the people in Jobek are very shady you guys are very shady please stop being shady like wow so I asked this guy when I get to Park Station where can I get a cap and then he says to me let me take you and I'm like wow you're so sweet take me so he takes me literally one minute he just took me outside I was like yes I can be dumb too. So we get outside and it's like, okay, are you gonna give me something to buy a drink? And I'm like, okay, no problem. So I take out 10 rounds and I give it to him. And it's like, nope, uh -uh. no, no, that's too little. Then I, I, I take out another 10 rounds and it's 20. And then he starts sulking and I'm like, what is this? And then Nigga says he wants 50. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you know what, the people at Coca-Cola, they need to come back to us and tell us exactly how much is Coke. Because KFC have a different price for Coke. The people in Gauteng have a different price for Coke. Traffic department has a different price for Coke. At Spa, they have their own price. And then also now, we have, um, at KFC, they also have their own prices. And at the garages, they've got their own prices. So I'm so confused as how much is Coke in South Africa. So now... I was 50 rands shots because this guy decided that he wanted 50 rands and because I was not going to fight, I don't even know how to fight. So I gave it to you. I was like, take it. So he took it. So I get into this cap to take me to vets. The test was at the vets medical school. The venue changes every year, but that year I remember very well it was at the medical school. So someone said to me that it was actually quite close. So I was like, okay. It is uh, very near, so you could walk, but I was like, I wasn't going to walk because I've had stories about people in Gauteng and the fact that they're shady, and I've already experienced that they are really shady. So I get into the cab. Guys, that cab drove. I felt like I was sitting inside that cab for a very, very long time, and someone said it was going to be a walking distance. So I get to vets, and then ding, 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 he has to do all his meter, 150, and I had to pay 150, and I'm like, I've already spent 200 and I've been here for less than 30 minutes because I arrived um, in Jobek around 6 a.m. The test was at 9. So for me, I was like, okay, it's fine. I've lost some money, but at least it's 6.30 and the test is only starting at 9. That was another mistake that I made. 
arriving early was a disaster. So I get them. I don't know why I read this, that they're only going to invite 200 people. So I'm expecting to get there 200 people because I was even talking to a best friend of mine, Debs, and I said to her, okay, Debs, because you and I got invited, which means there's only other 198 people there. But no, boy, did Vets not just decide to invite the entire Africa? There were so many people there. It was as if everyone who qualifies to write the test got invited. Guys, it was horrific. I said then I was like, because <laughs> sugar up. I was like, wow, things are about to get real. I get there. On the floor, there are girls sitting there. They are studying. They've got their textbook outside. And I'm like, this is so serious. And then I go find a corner there because I'm like, okay, I'm so intimidated right now. So I just need to get some time to just focus on me. So I get, I get to sit um, in this other corner. So this girl comes to me, I, I think people who are very confident, they usually do that. They pick people who are quiet and be like, okay, there's a prayer for me. I'm going for that one. So she comes to me this late. I'm like, oh, it's like, hey, what's your name? I'm like, my name is Tepe, where are you from? I'm from Bloomfield. I'm like, oh, really? They invited you all the way from Bloom? I'm like, yeah, they did. Oh, hi, you're so sweet. And then she goes and then she says to me that she is a nurse professionally. And then she says to me, She's been practicing for this test since June. I'm like, whoa. And then she's busy reciting things for me. And then she's like, did you look at this? Did you look at that? Did you look at this? Did you look at this? I'm just there like, okay, chill now. I'm so intimidated. And But I'm not saying this to her. And I'm just there like, you know when you're smiling and then uh, you look so awkward. And you're like, okay, go away. I'm done talking to you. Please don't talk to me anymore. But she's there and she's telling me that she was even... Uh, uh, consulting with some students there and then they give her tips and then she's so confident about this test and then she's going to pass it i'm like good for you do it and deep inside i'm like god you brought me here god you will see me through this experience and i'm like you know what whatever happens in that test happens and then um the other guys come you know it's, it was as if they come in their numbers and um they, these guys come, they start having a conversation, a very loud conversation in front of us. I think that's what happens usually with people who are, you know, when people overcompensate and then they act as if they got this, but they don't really got it. Yeah. So these guys are there and then they say to each other, they think that um, they might focus on this aspect because last year when they wrote, they focused on another aspect and then they feel so confident and then they're like, oh my goodness. And then as we go, right. Um, they say to each other, oh, see you in jump one, which means see you next day in class. I'm like, wow, that is so cool. I wish I also was that confident. So now I see Debs, Debs comes in. I'm like, oh, finally, there's my person. So I go to Debs and then we we there and then we convince each other like, friend, do you see how many people they are here? And then because Debs is very religious, she, her faith is up here. So she she keeps on reminding me of the promises that God has made and then the fact that God uh, saw us to this point and then he will see us beyond and I'm like yes Debs preach I'm like yes this is the girl that I needed in my life right now so now the next point they say to us we must go to the list and find our names on the list so we go to that list to find our names there so we get there and there is now this little dots they are different colors some people are getting yellow some people are getting purple some people are getting red and then Debs and I both get purple and then we convince ourselves that purple means that it could be that people who are high on the list like we're like yeah friend, maybe probably we're like in the top 100 applicants so hence we get in purple because we're like red red for danger and then other colors are like no that one is black black means bad were we not lying to ourselves again the colors just meant the venues that purple was going to be this specific venue yellow was going to be that specific venue and black was going to be another venue so yeah we get to the test um nine comes and then we get in um they welcome us and then they say we must go see it the class was so full guys and it was not the only class they had like three different venues and they were all full and we get them the test was not that bad it was bad because we didn't prepare well but for people that had prepared i felt like um had i known what i know now 
would have definitely done better with the preparation and everything. Um, the test had three components. So they had um, molecular medicine, they had anatomy, and they had physiology. And in what the, the questions, the way they were phrased, we had um, three sections. Um, each of the sections had um, straightforward multiple choice questions. So which you choose one correct answer and then, yeah, if you get it wrong, you're wrong. And then there was another section which was negatively marked for all of the three sections. So then what happens is that they give you five statements and then they say to you, select the ones that are false and then select the ones that are true. And you have to group them. So what happens then, because it's negatively marked, if in this five statement for this specific question, you get three correct and then you get two wrong, which means you get one because the two that are wrong will be minus from the two that are right. With that, uh, they were just trying to eliminate um, the guessing factor so that you don't have to guess. So you can just give the correct answer. If you're not sure, you leave it open. That's the thing about negative marking. If you're not sure about something, you leave it. But now, you could not get less than zero for the question. That's another weird concept with the multiple choice questions. They are negative and not like you can get less than zero. You're like, how? Oh, if I get all five wrong, I get negative five. Then like, ah, but no. What they usually mean is that if um, you select four that are wrong and then only one is right, they will give the maximum they can give you is zero for that specific question. So to pass the test, you didn't have to uh, get high marks. You just had to get 50 for every section individually. So if you got 51, 52, 53, you had passed the test. If you had gotten, um, let's say, 90, 90, and 47 for one component, then you failed, then you are not considered for the second round. So you write the test and then you leave. So for me, looking back at um, the test, I would say that, like I said, had I known what I know now, I would have definitely done better. I'm also going to try to do another video whereby I give you guys the textbook that they recommend and uh, um, what the tips that I can recommend for you guys to, if you still have to go write that test. But um, even with a lot of people being invited to come write, I felt like that, that it shouldn't really move me. It, it shouldn't be something that is now this head on that, oh, they're going to invite a lot of people. Remember one thing in life is that if a space, it is yours, you're going to get it. No matter how many people apply, no matter how many people get invited, if it's meant for you, you are going to get it. Like for me, when I applied to Stellenbosch, um, for my category, because there's different categories, pools, for my pool, they say they only have 12 spaces. And it could like discourage a person to say, oh my goodness, there's only 12 spaces. And uh, when I got invited for an interview, they said to us that, oh, there were 236 people that applied in your pool alone. And then from those 236, they invited 16 for interviews. And then from that 16, they selected 12. That goes to show that sometimes, you know, luck and God, they work together and then you just get in. So even though there's, there's lots of numbers and you feel like, okay, my chances are now limited. Um, well, it's... If you just have to believe in yourself and trust in the system and trust in yourself as well to say that, God, I can only do this much and then you will do the rest. And then also the thing about people who are overly confident in tests, please stop. You don't have to scare everyone else. Also happens in interviews where you would get to an interview and there's this other one person who is very loud, who talks more than all people. It's, it's... You can be confident, but you don't have to make other people feel small because of this confidence that you're possessing. And also, one thing that I've realized about life is that people who are usually the most scared overly compensate, compensate when they are nervous. And then when somebody is nervous, sometimes that's when they have to speak a lot and all that. So sometimes it's not that really they're trying to be mean. Sometimes it's just that they are also scared and they're trying to calm themselves by being this uh, confident human whereby everyone is looking at them like I wish I was like that person so yeah if you're applying if you are thinking of going to write the web test all I'm going to say is to you is all the best of luck go for it you 